Hello and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. So there's a couple of things that uh, I wanted to correct from my... F f well, not correct, but clarify from, from the first episode. Um, over at the old sawmill, when I found that little shed with the uh, trigger... Well, the apparent trigger points in, I believe that... Well, when I was, when I was editing that video, I, I realised that uh, they're probably the spawn points for the products that come out of the, the sawmill. Which would be quite cool. Um, which explains why they didn't appear to do anything when I was over there. The other thing that I wanted to say was the yarder is more than just a winch. So that obviously the winch is, is something that you can put on the back of the tractor and that can drag the trees towards you. But if I set up the yarder over here, I can actually pull trees up the hill. But you can also suspend trees. So if you if we took the, the rope out to into the distance there and tied it to one of the really tall trees at the top, these trees could be picked up and then moved over here. And I think that's what we're going to be doing today because what we really want to do today, or before before we rest tonight, is to get the, um, the paper mill stocked up with... stocked up with wood because we... That's, that's what we need to do. We, once we get the paper mill stocked up with wood, we can... Uh, we can set the, um, the production going, which should just be perfect. That's exactly what we need to do. Okay. Might as well leave that running. There we go. Yep, so this is the right direction. Now I want to go as far as I can and put it on the tallest tree as possible because what we want to do is we want to get some of these trees cleared from in here. And we want to get them all dragged up the hillside. So let's have a look. How are we, how are we doing over here? Okay, so if we go to somewhere over here, then we could go to that one. Yes, we could. As high as possible. Ha ha ha, look at that. Yes. It's in place. Uh. Yep. Yeah. So let's... And that lets us take some of these trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to start chopping them. Felling them, I should say. We'll start with the ones at the bottom here. And we will work our way up. Okay. Where's that rope coming through? Up there. Okay, so yeah. Right, that's three so far. I am going to get more trees planted. Don't worry about me chopping all these down. I need to get the, the paper mill working. And once we've got the paper mill working, we can try some reforestation as well. What we need to do is just make money at the minute. Because once we make money, we can do whatever we need to do. I'm only going to cut down trees that are deemed to be fully grown. Well, I, th I reckon are fully grown anyway. Then we can start dragging them up one at a time. This is a dead... Yeah, this is a dead tree, so we will take this one out. But it was not going to give us much. Oh, 
and I think that that should do us. Right then. So what we need now is the carriage. So. If I press R, it should come to me. Yes, there it is. And we'll start, I think, by dragging this dead wood up. There we go. Look at that. Uh, I wonder if there's a way you can shorten... Lift or lower trees. Yes, there you go. Ah, oh, yeah. See, that's what a yard does. That your winch can't. Right then. Uh, that way. See, and that can take it right up the top. You know what? Let's just create a little bit of space to work here. Well, that's that then. Right. Well. Let's get this boat through. So, tree number one. Lower that down. There we go. Now let's go get tree number two. There we are. Huh? Oh no. Well, this tree's too heavy, so what we'll do is we'll cut it into two halves. Right, that should, yes, that should be okay now. That should follow me back up here. Although it would have been a good idea to lift it first. Oh well, it's here now. No, oh, stop following me. Right, that's the first half of that tree. Go get the next half. Here it is. Is it? No, it's not. Where did the other half of that tree go? Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. 1.2 tonnes, is that alright? Yes, that's alright, good. Right, let's uh, get that winched up. So it won't get caught on the other trees. Oh, I'm loving this yarder. That's making things a lot easier. That's fantastic. Alright, so let's go up here. Yes, and then we can start pulling it in. Oh, look at that. That is superb. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, 
get that lowered down. Superb. That is absolutely brilliant. There we go. Plenty more to go. What we got over here? So here's one. Um, our, that's 3.9 tons, so we're going to have to chop that down as well. There we go. What's this one? 1.4 tons. I can't remember what the maximum limit was. Uh. I think this is too far away as well. Ah, no it's not. Well, that one's not. Ah, there we go. Yes. Right, let's get that hoisted up. Why can I not get that? Ah, oh, because I was too far away from it. Okay. Hoist it up. Here we go. Oh, this is incredible. I am absolutely loving this expansion pack. That is absolutely amazing. And this yarder is incredible. I'm loving the combination. Right, let's bring it in. Well, I don't know why the Volvo engine keeps switching off. Yes, look at that. Ooh, careful. Lower it down. Let's take it off. And we can trim it. There we go. Alright. We've got a few more trees to pull up. Can't remember how many I've cut down, but uh, there's, there's plenty more. Yep, plenty more. Uh, 1.4 tons, that'll be alright. 1.2 tons, that'll be fine. Should we try and get the ones over here first? Yeah, go on them. Uh, tree is too heavy, maximum weight 1.5. Oh, okay, okay. So this is 1.6. Okay, let's uh, half it. Okay, right. that can be pulled up. Oh, not getting in the way of these things. As you can see, that's pulling it up there. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> uh, have I still got follow me on? Move garage to yarder. That's a good. That's a good one. That is. Look at that. Oh yes. Come on, Yada, your job's not done yet. Should I start stripping these down here? Might make it a little bit easier, mightn't it? There we go. Where's me yarda? Uh, can I get close enough? Yes, I can. Okay, let's drag that up. I 
tell you what, this is some heavy duty equipment, isn't it? Really, really good. Oh, uh, I don't want to swing it around too much. Alright, let's take that back. God, that's a big old lump to be swinging around on top of there, isn't it? Alright, so, undo that. Put it up to follow me again. We can pick up the next one. Ah. Just going to help this one out a little bit. Just because... Too heavy. Okay. So what is the weight of this one then? 2.3 tonnes. If we go for somewhere in the middle, then it will be 1.2 and 1. Good. Oof! I've just been killed. There we go. Right. I hadn't thought about it, but I probably should change my wardrobe for some forestry work, shouldn't I? Uh, what have we got in the way of forestry outfits? Oh, look at that. That's bright. Let's go for that. Confirm. What the hell? Alright. Not sure what happened there, but... Hmm. Get that lowered down. Shall we unhook it? There. Right. Follow me again, Yarda. You're not done yet. See, I mean, we've we've cut quite a few trees down down here, and it, it doesn't actually look like we've we've done an awful lot. Which uh, which is good. We're not taking taking too much away from the map, but. And at the same time, we'll get some younger trees in and planted, so they can grow while we're harvesting the rest of the uh, the land. Off it goes. This is an absolute cracking bit of equipment. I'm surprised they decided not to start you with, with a yarder. But yeah, this is... Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is brilliant. Right then, I think I think we've got probably two more trees down here. Oh no, three, maybe three. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, let's get that hoisted up. Let's stand out the way and get that hoisted up. There we go. Send that back. And have a look at what else we got down here. Ah, so there's one here. Or maybe oh maybe it was four. God, did I get a bit trigger happy on the old uh, cutting trees down? Oh, hello. There's another tree. Well 
we want this paper mill to start working well for us, don't we? Oh, there's loads of trees. Oh, I've cut down. Right. I don't know how many of these we'll be able to pull up at the same time. We might be able to get a couple of these ones in. Oh no, this is 3.3 .3 tons. So there's no way we can do that. This will have to go into three pieces. Uh, so. One. Okay, so. 1.9 tons. That's not going to work either. I suppose 1.2 tons, 1 ton, yeah, okay. Not 1 ton, not like the soup. 1.2, that's good. And what this one? 800, lovely. Right, better go up and detach that tree up there then. <laughs> Might need to start getting rid of some of these uh, before we can drag any more up. Possibly. be chopped up a bit smaller, or some of them do anyway. Uh, right. Back down the hill again. Let's grab this one. Look at that. Superb. Off you go. That's a huge tree, that one. Hmm. Okay. Lower that one down. That's a mammoth tree, that one. And detach it. There we go. Superb. Yeah, this is looking good. Very keen to shut that engine off, isn't it? <clears throat> right. What have we got left? We should have another three. I want to say three. Maybe two? Two. Although. Um. Although that one's going to come in in four bits. Right, send you back. Right. Uh, oh. I detach it and then bring the yarder back again. I don't even have to go up there. Ooh, cracking. Hmm. 
they'll just probably end up being quite a mess up there, that's all. Right. Unhook it. Bring it back. This is an amazing tool. I'm loving this. Not sure if I've said that enough already. I don't tend to mention it. Okay, off you pop. I've no idea what the capacity of the paper mill is, but we're, we're going to find out, I think. Trickiest bit is going to be getting it, getting that, getting them all into the lorry. I'm not overly looking forward to. seem to get to it once on that. And then this will be the last last little bit. Then it's a case of chopping them up and putting them on the lorry, but I probably won't let you I won't uh, subject you to that. Once we've got this final bit here, we'll be able to see uh, the sort of mess that we've got up the top. Amazing. Too much of a mess. Do I? Don't turn it off. Right. Uh, how do I detach it all? Remove the other roof. There we go. Superb. Right. Get that lifted up and folded. And we'll get this tractor out of the way so that we can get the, uh, the lorry in. Park it here next to my outside table. Superb. Turn it around and back it in over there because probably going to be the best thing to do. Okay. Right, so I need to chop some of these things up. 
to get this unfolded to start with. And then while that's doing that, uh, yeah. That one's probably all right. That one could be shorter. That one can definitely be shorter. Okay, let's start trying to pick some of these up. Uh, I won't do this all on camera because you've seen enough of me doing this in the last episode. But I'm also going to try not to cheat. I'm getting the hang of this anyway. I shall crack on with this. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, that's better. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty much a full load. I can come back for the others. And let's just see what's the best way to get to the paper mill. So, paper mill. Oh, where are we? There. Uh, so, we are here. Paper mill is, paper factory is there. So I can either turn left and go all the way around the dirt track there. Or turn right and go around this way. Rural farm cell. Um, I'll probably turn left and go around the dirt track. Seems good. So I'm not certain. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this with touch wood, but I think I've sorted the flickering issue. Ooh, but I haven't sorted the uh, really terrible driving issue, especially with this amount of weight of wood on board. Anyway, right, let's let's try that again. So uh, the flickering issue, I I don't really know how shader caches work. I believe that it builds up a memory of the uh, the graphics of parts and things like that and how they're, how they're shaded shader cache um, and then stores that in the memory to use uh, and, uh, as, a, as a quick access point I have got a game shader cache which we all, well, we all have, a game shader cache in the farming simulator folder in your documents. But we also have, well, I also had, uh, an NVIDIA shader cache from a graphics card, or for the, the control panel for NVIDIA. I've disabled that and cleared out the shader caches. And I think, well, it, it certainly stopped the flickering issues immediately whether it comes back or not I don't know it's something we're gonna to have to look at uh, where am I oh that's 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 my paper mill that's where I want to be we just drive through the river here that's awesome oh wicked oh, probably should have checked for a train that would have been catastrophic uh, right then, I'm going to back this into here so we can unload.
and see how we get on with how much it gives us. Oh, that's slightly up, I think. So I could fit through without it sticking out the top there, but not with it sticking out the top. Right, I'll find a way around this, and then we'll have a look and see how much we get. So, a thing just happened. I drove around here, it went up on two wheels, then flipped over. I then used uh, developer options to flip the truck back up right again, and the wood didn't come with it. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna manually move all these into the into the point over there, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna sort it out. I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, we now have a nice neat pile in the trigger. Uh, what do I want to do first? Let's have a look. Right, materials missing, wood, wood, carton and paper roll. So let's have a look. It takes 525 wood to make 230 paper, and it takes 400 wood to make 215 car carton, carton roll. What are the prices for both of those? Is it worth making both? Uh, let's have a look. All right, paper roll. Oof. Look at that. Paper roll at Elm, Elm Creek. 11,000. Where's the carton roll? There it is. Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth making both. Right, let's get this in. Gone. Right, now, what percentage of that? That's not bad. That's over, over half full now. And they're going to be storing all these. So that production, our production is now underway. And this is what this is the spawn point where we're going to spawn everything. Look at that climbing already. Look. Paper roll, carton roll, three litres each. Superb. Well, I'm going to go get the rest of those trees and we're going to top up the... Uh, <laughs> top up the supply there. But yep, I am extremely happy to have my second episode and my first production on Silver Run Forest is underway. Really, really happy with that. I'm not convinced the train does come through here unless you, you make a, a, a change to something. I don't think it's, it's random as to which track it uses. I think it uses the other track all the time until you, until you bring it through this way. Not certain, but... That's what I think. Right. Let's go get the rest of what we've cut down. We won't cut down any more today, I don't think. Uh, I mean, in this game day, obviously. I'll probably be playing for this for the next 24 hours, solid. You'll get 12 episodes out of one day's worth of work. Probably not that extreme. Alright, well that's all loaded up. Bit of a faff, but it was alright. Um, still not going to fit under that the, the paper mill, but... Oh, what was that? It was a deer. Um, yeah, and it's definitely getting late. I'm going to switch some lights on. We're going to take this and drop it off at the paper mill. Looking at what we had, I didn't think we'd get anywhere near a full load, but to be honest, this is pretty, uh, pretty well loaded. I don't think it's anywhere near as heavy as the, uh, the other lot, but given this is mostly the tops of the trees, and that was mostly the bottoms of the trees, but we'll still take it easy. Get it to the paper mill and then we'll get home and rest, I think. In the morning we can have a look. Or, yeah, in the morning we can have a look at, at how much we've actually created. How quick the production actually is. We may even be able to sell it and pay off our, uh, our loan straight away. Which would be cracking. 
in the next episode, episode what I want to do is I want to uh, have a look at what it takes to start making no, not that way, not that way, not that way. Ah, it's quite heavy. Um, take a look at what it takes to start making some yachts. Because that's something that I'd, uh, I'd like to get stuck into straight away. Obviously, we will be making building the roller coaster eventually. Um, but I think until we get a sawmill, those construction project projects are going to be a little bit out of reach anyway. So the, the main goal is going to be getting hold of the sawmill. Uh, and then we can produce produce the parts as quickly as possible that um, that's, that are required. Obviously, the other thing that we're going to need is the iron ore uh, to make the iron, and that once again is going to be uh, that's going to be required probably for the yachts as well. Anyway much more carefully around there. Required concentration, which is why you notice I've stopped talking. Okay. Let's see if we can get this taken. You gonna take it? It is. Look at that. How are we doing at the minute? Right, so that that's given us a good load of wood to, get, to be getting on with. So that's cool. Okay. I'm going to leave that production produ producing. I'm going to head back up to the farmhouse. Uh, this way. And we're going to rest. So yeah, there are multiple productions that we need in order to make boats and make and pr produce things that are required for the roller coaster. And until we've got those, not a lot we can do. Oh, that's a nice lighting effect that is. It's a nice sort of blue tint to everything, which is sort of what you'd expect it would be at this point in the evening. Lovely. Okay. Here we are. Lights off, engine off, bedtime. This really is a stunning map. Even I mean, even the sky and everything has been. I think all the lighting's been revamped. Really nice. Right, let's rest. Oh, pumpkins. The Halloween. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, right. First things first. Let's jump over to the paper factory and have a look what we got. Nothing. That's interesting. I wonder how many litres to a pallet then. That's really interesting. Why are we... Yeah, we do want to be storing them, don't we? Storing is the right thing to be doing. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway... I expected to see some pallets of things, but 
if the pallets are going to be like 2,000 litres instead of 1,000 litres or something, which is usual, then, then great. Yeah, because the three options are storing, selling, or distributing. And selling, no, because I want to do that. Distributing, I've got nowhere to distribute into. Oh, well, we'll just come back here later and see what's happening. Right. I, on that successful note of owning my own paper company, McCallum's Paper Company, and getting it to work, I'll leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.